baddies, right here, back with another YouTube video. So I'm back to school shopping with Adrian. Um, I'm not exactly sure where we're gonna go first. We're definitely gonna go to Hot Topic and Zoomies, but um, I have to go to the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, it's because I'm distracted. Anyways, I almost went up the wrong way, but um, I'm gonna go over there, I have to go to the bathroom. My phone's dying, so I'm not gonna be able to vlog much. But uh, it's tax free weekend, which is the 5th through the 7th. We're gonna be here till 10, maybe 9-ish. We have, I haven't decided if we're gonna stay here the whole time because I am a little tired. I just got off of working eight hours at my job. So I just gotta get this back to school shopping out of the way. I have to do it by myself, full responsibility on me. It's usually my mom helps me with my outfit. So I don't know, but I have a sense of style. So I'm pretty sure I know what I like and what I don't like. Yeah. Here I was going down the escalator. Adrian went to Sonic because he was hungry. So we headed there first. Here I was on the way to Hot Topic. I'm not allowed to record in there. Literally spent a whole hour in there just to buy pants. After we left Hot Topic, I thought we had an hour and 30 minutes left, which I was wrong. Headed over to Journeys, which was conveniently very close to Hot Topic. I tried on these Doc Martens. I'm not sure the name. They are like $212, but they're super cute. And I got them and they're coming in the mail in four to five days. So you guys are gonna see me wearing those and pair them with all the cute fits. I ended up getting these shoes in a 10. She said people usually size up. I am an eight and a half, nine but I honestly felt like the nine was too small. At first I tried it on without a sock because I didn't have one and then I headed over to Zoomies, bought a sock, a thick sock, and it still felt like it was too small. So to play it safe, I got the 10 and I hope it fits. I hope it's not too big. If anything, she told me I could return them, exchange them, whatever. If they are worn, she can only give me a credit for the store since I already wore them or whatever. But I feel like that's a good deal anyway because you can just get a new pair of shoes. We're heading down the escalator on the way to Zoomies. I got a few socks and a shirt and I tried on this shirt. I ended up getting it in two different colors. After I bought my shirt and my socks from Zoomies, I went outside to look at the backpacks they had on display in the front of the store. Um, I do see this lurking class backpack out here that I like. I mean, I would consider it, but it doesn't seem like it's a good quality bag, but it's cute. I can and then, like, there's this um, Rick one from Rick and Morty, and I, I like Rick and Morty, so I'm just like, what? Because I usually get crazy bags, but, like, you know, I'm starting to not care as much to have crazy bags, so I'm just, like, looky trying to think of what to get. I was thinking of getting a Herschel backpack. I really like this uh, this pink one right here, but they don't have it in black, which I definitely will not get it in pink. That is not going to fly for me. Um... So I do, I don't know what to get. Like I'm just struggling so much and I usually don't struggle. I usually know what I want and what I like, but I can't decide. Cause um, this Rick and Morty one is a, it's one of those expensive bags. Oh, there's this Nike one. It's really basic. It looks like, it's probably $85. I don't know. I like that one too. So though, I, I bought myself $124 worth of little Spencer's now. Let's see what I can find. So I did find Spencer's has a lot of cute stuff. I actually got a Rick and Morty Christmas sweater from there around this time last year. The year before, I don't even remember, but I didn't really find anything in here. I realized that if you go online, you have more options. They have a lot of graphic tees, which I wasn't attracted to really any of them. They had a lot of inappropriate things on them, so I obviously couldn't wear that to school. And um, here's their whole beanie wall. I saw a Rick and Morty hat that I almost got. I almost got a backpack from here too. It was super cute when I went with my friend earlier in the summer, but I also didn't get that. Oh my God, not the toys in the bag. I got the skirts. I got my first day of school outfit from Dolls Kill. Unfortunately, I couldn't wear it because my brother got COVID the day I I had to go to school so obviously I couldn't go and it's too late in the week for me to wear it because I'm scared they'll dress coat me I know the dress is short but you know the first two days you can get away with it that's why I was gonna wear it and I got these super cute platforms also ended up buying 200 masks you know in all black because I like black and I like the black masks Alrighty guys, so that concludes my back to school shopping video there will unfortunately not be a haul because the week I was supposed to go back to school, like I mentioned earlier in the video, my brother ended up getting COVID. So I literally like unpacked all my clothes and I was sick because I ended up getting COVID as well. Um, and when I went back to school, I already started wearing the clothes I bought and I didn't have time to make a video because I was recovering from COVID. But anyways, um, I got a lot of cute clothes. You guys have probably seen my previous videos where I'm wearing the clothes that I bought. Like if you look earlier in the video, I had a dress on and I had those platform shoes. I was gonna wear that the first day of school, but by the time I got was able to go back to school, you know, they dress code you. So I obviously couldn't wear that dress or those shoes to school because, you know, it's too short. But like usually the first or second day, they'll let you like wear whatever you want. So people usually wear the craziest stuff the first or second day. Like I remember sophomore year, I wore skirt. And um, I wasn't going to get dress coded because it was the first day of school. So 
that's usually what I do. But um, hopefully next year I'll be able to do a haul if I don't decide to do online school, which, you know, now I am doing. So I guess you guys will have to wait and see to decide what I do. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Bye, loves.